Yo, what's happening guys? Coming at you from downforsoundshop.com. In this video, we're gonna be talking to you about the importance of distro blocks. But first. All right, so let's get into this video. A lot of people ask about distribution blocks. Are they necessary? Do you have to have them? Do you don't? Do you not need to have them? It really comes down to preference on this. Uh, I think the biggest thing to sum up distribution blocks is cleanliness. You see people like if you've ever seen somebody with a battery terminal and they have like. 10 wires going to that one terminal it's all bunched up on top of each other they're about to strip the battery uh, bolt out because they're they're barely getting any thread on the bottom because there's so many pieces or so many ring terminals up under that some people don't even use ring terminals they just wrap wire around the battery bolt and i think we've all done that at some point in time but anyway the importance of distribution blocks is to clean up your install make it look awesome so instead of obviously this is going to mount in the main part of the battery like the battery terminal so you would mount this whole piece on there and if you have 10 wires going to it you now have 10 individual spots to mount those wires to so it's going to look way cleaner and it's not going to be risking stripping out the, um, the terminal on your battery. I mean, obviously, you can always over tighten the terminal. They don't require much uh, on the torque, so please don't over tighten your battery terminals. You will strip them out. Um, but anyway, this will clean it up a lot. So you, instead of having all that stuff stacked on over here on the battery terminal, you can have it really nice on your install on a distribution block. Helps dissipate. I mean, you're having a lot bigger mounting pad so you're able to um, I would say it helps with heat some as well if you have a, all those things stacked in one location it's just um, dissipating heat off of that one little terminal it can like build up heat a lot worse uh, when you have this big terminal you're gonna have a lot more to dissipate the heat off of and it's obviously cleaner uh, this is going to be a battery distro block right here so uh, this is going to be obviously one that you just do the mount down through here so this is going to be a like sort of like an excess power battery. They have a hole in the top and a bolt that goes in there. So this would uh, work for that. If we also have alternator lugs, if you've ever seen somebody with a high output alternator and they have something like a big three or big six done on their alternator, they have a bunch of wires running off of their output stud on the alternator. And just like on the battery, they can be stacked up on there really like tall as well. And that's, it's, it just doesn't look good. Uh, but if you're on a, a really tight budget, you can make it work. But that's what distribution blocks are for, to make it look clean. So this would mount to the back of, or the mount on the alternator stud right here and then you would run your wires into each one of these holes right here so obviously it would look super clean so you'd have two wires coming in here two wires coming in there and it would just look like it's coming out of this block right here so it looks super clean and that would be the way to go if you're asking me next one that we have over here is if you have an SAE battery terminal style we have this one right here let me open this up so y'all can see it all right, so this is going to be your um, SAE style terminal. So if you have an SAE style um, battery, that is when it has a, um, the post sticking up out of the top, this is going to mount to that. And there is a positive and negative. So then those posts are different size for a reason. So this is going to be your positive. I can't remember which one's bigger and which one's smaller, but maybe somebody can comment in the uh, comments below and tell us which post is bigger or smaller, positive or negative. They are different sizes. So this is going to be your SAE style uh, input style. So we also have SAE style that is like this, your ring terminal style. So your input style, I think, I mean, I, me personally, if you're wanting to save a few bucks, you can go with the input style because then you don't have to buy ring terminals. If you do this style, you have to buy ring terminals. I'm probably shooting myself in the foot for telling you this, but I'm about being honest and telling y'all, like, if it's a way to save money, there's a way to do it right here because uh, you don't have to buy uh, ring terminals. Anyway, so this is the input style. You slide, you obviously cut the jacket off the wire, you slide it in there, and you use one of these set screws to run it down through there and you set it onto the wire so and it's i think it's really clean looking as well 
because you just have all you see is uh, the wire jacket and the wires inside of there makes for a very clean install so anyway that's gonna go ahead and sum up this video for distribution blocks the uh, I guess the cliff note on this one is cleanliness it makes it look really good and also it was gonna dissipate some heat and if you're trying to run a ton of like wires off of like you're running a ton of power through say a battery bank or uh, oscillators or whatever it may be it's gonna be a lot easier with a distribution block so if you need any distribution blocks head on over to downforsoundshop.com and or click in the link in the description below and there'll be a link directly to the distribution blocks that we offer we offer tons and tons of them so pretty much anything you can think of we probably have it if not shoot us a message you can always give us a call 702-701-9800 because we are the home of the down for sound difference. Guaranteed lowest prices, fastest shipping, best customer service. And we have four different types of same as cash financing on the website under the financing tab. So be sure to check that out as well. Until next time, we'll see you. What's happening guys? If y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram under the Life of Price and also Down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there so be sure to check me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.